Hi everybody, Gomer the Ranting Thespian here again with the final leg of the NES Mega Man game journey, Mega Man 6. And my phone says hi too, by the way. <laughs> so of course, for those who don't already know, Mega Man 6 is where Mr. X holds a tournament and he takes the best eight robot masters to, you guessed it, take over the world. Of course! <laughs> Yeah, I had to do it early, that way I'd actually remember to put the gag in, because I don't edit too much of these. Just the beginning and the end of these. I am actually recording this on the 17th, which is opening night for Arsenic and Old Lace at our local theater here. So, oh yeah, I got a hit. So, um, I got a little bit of the opening night jitters, and eh, which is normal, you know. I mean, if you don't, if you don't experience those, then... I just have to ask what the fuck is wrong with you. Because I'm in a show, and one of the guys in the show, this is like his 75th show, like, in his life. You know, and he's, he's younger than me, so I was like, holy shit. So, you know. And even he still gets those jitters. So, uh, so yeah, it, it's perfectly normal to get, like, opening night jitters. In fact, that's why I ask, you know, if you don't get those, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so, um, anyway. Um... Last night, I actually was sitting at the theater waiting for things to get started, and as I usually do, I'll sit around and play on my phone with internet access and everything. I'll, like, go on Twitter and Fark and everything, and one of the stories I found was really very amusing to me, at least for, the mo at least for some of it. Um, it was involving a guy who's running for governor of Georgia on, like, what could be summed up as secessionist light. You know, and um, that's that's not the interesting part. No, 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 no. What's interesting is the headline. The headline alone is just it's, it's what made me got into the story in the first place. The gov the guy says, and I quote, "Sex with mules, watermelon behind him." Yeah, let that sink in for a moment, there, folks. Yeah, mules, watermelon. And at first, I, I was actually, you know, reading the story as I was coming across it to one of the other guys that was waiting with me at the theater. And uh, for the most part, he was like, wait, 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 where does the watermelon come into play? Where does the watermelon come into play? You know. And, um, well, it turns out that, well, you know, he had sex with a watermelon. And pretty much everything else under the sun. And he, he, he even invented a new stereotype, folks. He basically said, and I want to say I quote, but I don't know if it's an exact quote, because I'm going by memory here. I kind of have to. But, um, <laughs> he basically said that Georgia farm boys have sex with mules. It's kind of like their first girlfriend. And when you're young and you're growing up sexually, you'll, well, you'll have sex with anything. You know, if it's warm and it's moist and it vibrates, you'll have sex with it. Um, <laughs> I am a self-professed hypersexual, and even I find it a little too far. Yeah. I mean, so it's like, yeah, you're just... <laughs> right. So, I mean, this guy is just... And this is this guy's from Georgia. I shared this with a couple of people that are actually from Georgia. <laughs> they are so ashamed of him, as they should be. Because this is a guy, now, he's, he's had sex with men, he's had sex with women. And he said that having sex with a man was disgusting. But yet, he had no problem having sex with a mule. It's like, what? That's, that's, what? You have sex with farm animals. How's having sex with a man disgusting? I mean, at least the man is human. I mean, just, ugh. Ah. So not only is he just grossly disgusting, created a whole new stereotype that I'm sure Georgians will not want to be a part of. He's he's ah. So I'm I've probably gone on way too long about him. So and people will probably tell me that I went on way too long about him. So we're gonna go on about opening night. So I will probably have you know a little vlog footage or something of opening night. Um, after the show closes, so it'll be kind of cool. At least that's what I intend. Um, and hopefully, I actually have a review coming up where I'm going to be looking for multiple uh, multiple people because it's going to be like major crossover. Well, 
well, semi-crossover, semi-just getting people to help me around here. Um, because uh, it's going to involve time traveling. And time traveling effects and everything. So, um, <laughs> uh, for those who haven't looked at my schedule, I'm actually doing a game called Time Lord, which has nothing to do with Doctor Who, unfortunately. Ugh, I, I was, I had a sad face. And, um, and the game itself, uh, I've only played a little bit of it because, you know, it's not up to the point where I absolutely need to buckle down and work on it. But the game itself, it, it's, it's, it's not very good. I mean, this is the same company, I think, I think it was Milton Bradley that made this game. This is the same company that brought us Marble Madness. You know, that sort of thing. So, um, and, ooh, hi. Ah, he caught it on fire. So, um, I think, it, well, I think it was, um, I think it was Milton Bradley. I want to say Rare was part of it, too, but I'm not sure. I know Rare was part of one of these games I've got on, on my plate. And... I'm gonna blow you away. Yeah. This... Yeah, you... Huh. Ow! Ooh! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Yay! I wonder... Let's see. I was sliding... Just as I was finishing... Let's see, does that work? Nope. It only works in Mega Man 4. What a pity. Uh, take a drink of my pop real quick. Mmm. And yes, you may play Guess What Gomer is Drinking. Um, if you get it right, uh, I'll give you some points or whatever. <laughs> oh, so, um, so my phone went off. What does my phone say? I uh, can't really find out now because i got to go to Blizzard Man. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. It's actually a reply to our the uh, director's Facebook post about opening night. And... Um, somebody replied, yeah, as long as the alarms don't go off this time. That's actually a reference to uh, when we did Curious Savage. In the middle of one of our shows, the fire alarm just decided to go off. No rhyme or reason. It's just like, hey, I'm going to go off now. Boom. And what's, what was really bad is um, we had no access to the office where we could shut off the damn thing. And boy, people were pissed. Well... When I say people, I mean people like me, Kevin, he's our director. You know, we were pissed. But people, you know, they wanted to stay. And and, and um, the, the lady who was actually directing um, Curious Savage, she uh, she was like, you know what, you know, we're just going to, you know, finish the whole thing off. You know, we're just going to call it off and let you guys come back free of charge another night or whatever. Which she did let them come, you know, they did let them come back free of charge another night. But um, but the audience said, you know what? No, 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 no. We're gonna, no, we're gonna finish this. We came to see this play. We're gonna finish this thing. You know, fire alarm or not. And so we did. Thankfully, a lot of us were like very, very loud people. I mean, with me, I mean, if, if you see my videos, you see how I can project my voice and everything. And in fact, I even do it to an extent here in these videos. And um, <laughs> so I knew I could handle it, and I knew. And I knew I could, you know, I knew, um, yeah, I'm, I'm tripping over my words. And I knew others could handle it, so it was, it was alright. Despite that, it was actually not too bad that night. And while thing, between the time that the director lady was, between the time that the alarm started and the director lady offering to let people come back the next night, you know, some of the other cast members got out on stage and entertained everybody, which was pretty cool. I should have done that. But I was too busy. I guess I was too busy like, channeling. Um, well, he's our director, but he's also the president of the Playhouse, so uh, so of course he had to be there. I was too busy channeling him because I was kind of pissed myself, you know, because it's like what the fuck. Uh, so you know, otherwise I probably would have been out there myself. Um. So yeah, that was that was interesting. And the lady who commented on that one Facebook post, she uh, was making reference to it. Which, you know, it was so far, I mean, uh, this is, uh, this will be, uh, this will pump up my actual performances on there to 12. No, not shows, I mean, I'm talking like individual night performances. So, uh, this will bump it up to 12, and so far, in the eight performances I actually have taken part in, only one of them had the, uh, fire, you know, fire alarm. 
So it's not so bad. One and eight so far. So um. So okay. You want to play, Fatty? You want to play? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You throw your little snowballs at me. There you go. Snowflakes. Boom! boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Flame on. Ah <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. So Blizzard Man, he's cold. Eh, so we get the Blizzard attack now. So um, so yes, opening night is gonna be fun. It's gonna be very very fun. Um, uh, it's been a hell of a ride so far. So doing arsenic and old lace. Um, unlike the last show, I won't have any clips some, from like some of my favorite moments of the show, so you'll just get like like a vlog thing, maybe a little something with some of the other cast members, if they don't mind. Um, uh, so, um, <laughs> of course, by this, by the time you actually see this, I'll know, okay, yeah, um, whether I will or, will or I won't. And, you know, I have to wonder, what is that up there? Yeah, up at the upper left, where it is now. It looks like it could be just busted through, but you have no way to get up there with the power armor. Huh. I wonder. It would be interesting if you could get up there with a power armor and then bust through it and see what's in there. I wonder. <laughs> and I love the turbo button. This is this is one of those Mega Man games where turbo button serves up really well. Because, you know, there's like practically no recovery time for the enemy. <laughs> Which... You always notice how when it's you that doesn't have the recovery time, it's bullshit. But when it's the enemy, it's perfectly fine. Don't you just love? Don't you just love like like the uh, double-sidedness of it? <laughs> oh, so you know, and it's not fair either way, to be honest. But you know, that doesn't mean we can't exploit it, and that doesn't mean they won't exploit it on us. Ah. So yes, uh, let's see. Oh man, this week has gone by so fast. You know, show week goes by pretty fast usually, and it's usually pretty draining on me. Um, I actually don't have much of a role in this week's in uh, this in this show, but at the same time, I do know me, <laughs> and um, I'll probably want to you know rest a little bit from the running around with the monkey, with the head cut off thing or whatever. So um, this this right here. This, I figured, you know, hey, it's no problem. It's just me playing a game, talking to you guys, you know, shooting the shit, basically. So, and I play games to relax. Sometimes I'll talk to people while I play games. It's no different here, really, so. So that's why I can do these, but not, like, full reviews. And, hell, even editing these things is no problem. Just pick up a bunch of uh, random OC remix tunes and go at it. Wheeze, boing, boing. Oh yeah, fish. I hate these fish. Oh, really? You what? Oh, Mega Man. Mega Man. How could you, man? How could you? How could you do this to me? You're tearing me apart, Mega Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta get the Tommy Wiseau impersonation in there every now and then. Uh. Oh, hi, monkey. Monkey. Yeah. It's kind of sad that Dennis Hopper died. And, and one of the things we remember him for is Monkey! Which, I don't know, I, I think, I think if, if I were to die and leave a legacy, I wouldn't mind leaving one, as long as somebody's entertained by something I've done. And people are obviously entertained by Monkey. So, um, <laughs> I would say, you know, score for Dennis Hopper. I mean, I know he's done other things. I mean, he was in Speed, which was kind of... I, I saw. I, I haven't seen Speed in a while, but um, it was, was alright. Uh, it's kind of no, and I fail. Oh, I did it wrong. Uh, I think. I think next time I screw up, I need to remember that when I go back into editing, and then just put in a little clip of uh, to the ranting Griffin yelling, "You're doing it wrong!" <laughs> you know. Oh man. So um. <laughs> Uh, so here we go. Third time I'm facing you. Uh, I swear, it's just... What is wrong with me? Uh, so, yes. and um, Saturday is going to be 
a good day because Pandorica opens Saturday on Doctor Who. <laughs> At least over in the UK, over over here, you know, BBC America still gets the. Uh, they get two. They're two weeks behind. Why don't they just broadcast them on the same day? They have the capabilities. Surely, you know. Surely you just and don't call me Shirley. Wait. I just totally messed up that line, didn't I? <laughs> That's okay, though. And boing! 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 Oh, yeah. Oh! Hey, he bounces, too. Bouncing is fun. I like the bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Whee! Uh, oh, whoop. Do -do 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 -do. Yay! That was very convenient. <laughs> very, very convenient. And let's see, we need blizzard attack. And we're gonna slide. Just slide. Slide like a penguin. Like a pengy. <laughs> oh man, plant man. Who, um, who people argue is like one of the worst robot masters ever. Weird design. Weird ass weapon. I mean, it's, it's, it's a shield weapon. I mean, there's not been much use for shield weapons in the Mega Man games. Dating back to the leaf shield. Best one so far has been the jewel satellite, you know. So, so I like the jewel satellite. It is, it's pretty much owns everything else in terms of shield. And there we go. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Jump, jump, yay! Oh man. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, they're as of this uh, recording actually, uh, they're editing the uh, third part of the Mega Man podcast thing on the legendary frogcast that I've been a part of for you know a few for a few episodes um, this particular section they're covering uh, ZX and legends which I don't have much experience with I really should get more experience with them especially like legends 2 <laughs> and the misadventures of Tron Bon but um, the series themselves are short anyway so and I think we're going to be working on one more hey how you doing oh I got shot. But, um, I think we're supposed to be doing one more that covers the Battle Network series. So, that'll be pretty cool. I actually have a pretty extensive, um, knowledge of the Battle Network series. Because I have all six of the main games. And I also have the GameCube game. Don't have anything else, though. And he's facing the wrong way. Or he was. Huh. It's like, turn and fire. Boom. Yay, shield attacker. In why he's there, I don't know. Uh, so, let's see. Oh, it's a Met machine. Yay. With jumping Mets, running Mets. And we just slide. Now, since so this game you can get is the first one you can get the energy balancer, I think. I don't know if it's the first... I don't know if it's the first period, but it's definitely the first of the uh, main ten series where you can get it. Hey, look, it's Eddie. What do you got for me? Eh, that's alright. I could use it. Yeah. And we have the Rush Jet. And yeah, the Rush Jet is definitely done differently, which I actually don't mind this, because it's got the refillable fuel, and you can, you know, you can just jetpack, which I kind of like that. It, it adds a little bit more to the game. And we get to the chopper. Uh, uh, so yeah, I had to do the get to the choppa with the predator review. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to admit, sometimes I think maybe I could go back and do maybe one or two of my reviews over, like like a special edition or something. You know, not and keep the, keep the originals, but you know, like update them or whatever, or maybe not, because now that I think about it, you know, I mean, especially with um, with like uh, everybody, you know giving George Lucas hell about the uh, prequel trilogy. Okay, I am going to have to stop this segment after this stage because, well, it's coming up on the 20 minute mark. So, uh, what we're gonna do is I am not gonna... See, Mega Man 6 also is good for, known for uh, having the fake boss, real boss. By the way, Proto Man here. <laughs> and he gives you the energy balancer. Yay! Some people may not know what that is right off the bat, so... And it doesn't tell you. It, it just... It's just there. So we don't know. Until you find out. 
And then you remembered. Ah, <sighs> so so yay, we got the jetpack now and you gotta take the more difficult the ow. Ah, that was that was bad. But that's okay. I can just go back this way. It's not that far off the map. It's, it's not that far off. Squee. Huh. You know, I don't go this way very often. Huh. That's interesting. But, um, this is one of the game. This is one of those Mega Man games. I think it's the only one thus far that has, uh, two routes to a boss. And, um, the, the, there's a fake one and there's the real one. The real one is always harder to get to than the fake one. Which is basically the rule of thumb here. So, yay! And, of course, we got the Mets again. The New York Mets? Huh. I wonder if these Mets root for New York. <laughs> Do you think? Oh, well. I mean, it can't be any worse. I mean, come on. That news story I shared at the beginning of this video. Remember, things can always be worse. You can always have a mule fucker running for your governor. Governance. <gasps> wow. <laughs> and I'd run out of breath. <laughs> um, so yeah, from now on, whenever somebody says, whenever I say it can be worse, that's going to be one of those examples. Yeah, it can always be worse. You can have a mule fucker run for governor in your state. Lovely. Um, I have to wonder who's behind him. Who is supporting this guy? Because... That, that that makes me wonder. Who would support him? <laughs> Seriously, it's like, who would support a guy? I mean, okay, yeah, it's good, you're honest, and... Gotta get right up on his ass. And hope he... Aw, really? This is not good. Oh, there we go. Whew! That was close. Look at that. One unit of health left. Who the man? Not me, because I am not Matt Smith. So, what's going to happen is this is going to end this segment here. And we'll go on to part two. And once we go on to part two, we'll see what happens there. And after getting... That's supposed to be silver, but it looks bronze. How is that silver? So, um, anyways, back to the screen, and I will catch you guys in part two. Until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.